Welcome back, this is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about acute inflammation and quenching the fire, putting that fire out. Last video we talked about the inflammatory markers that you can utilize to see if you have inflammation. Today we're going to talk about supplementation and dietary uh, recommendations. So, number one, NAC or N-acetylcysteine. You can utilize 1,000 milligrams two times a day to decrease free radical activity. As you know, NAC is a precursor to glutathione and is a very important antioxidant. Quercetin, also known to quench histamine reaction, can use it for inflammatory processes. 1,000 milligrams twice a day helps to decrease leukotrienes. Resveratrol, 1,000 milligrams two times a day, two to three times a day, decreases NF-kappa B. Turmeric or curcumin, you can use 1,000 milligrams up to three times a day, also decreasing NF-kappa B. Fish oil, EPA, DHA, in the acute phases, you can use 2,000 milligrams three to five times a day. It will increase anti-inflammatory prostaglandins and decrease inflammatory costanoids. So it helps the inflammatory process by dampening it. These supplements you can utilize also for people who have chronic inflammation in smaller doses. So if, you, if I recommend 1,000 milligrams twice a day on, on a supplement, if you have chronic inflammation or chronic issues or even maintenance doses, you can use 1,000 milligrams once a day or 500 milligrams twice a day. So you want to reduce the dosages. But if you do have chronic health issues and you really have a lot of problems, you probably want to work with a healthcare provider who can, you know, kind of fine tune the dosage for you for these types of supplements. Okay? So, anti-inflammatory. What about diet? Definitely want to reduce sugar or carbohydrates because sugar will spike insulin and ins insulin uh, spikes can create inflammatory processes. Partially hydrogenated fats, you want to reduce shellfish temporarily, red meats, and obviously processed foods. What you want to increase is, increase is water, fatty fish, and high antioxidant foods. Okay? Cold showers or cold ice plunges can increase endorphins, increase growth factor, increase circulation, and decrease inflammatory cytokines. So you can use this combination in a very short period of time, maybe up to two weeks, and then go down into what we call maintenance doses. Uh, and that maintenance dose will be dependent on your uh, health needs. On the supplementation, I've actually made videos on each one of them explaining what it does. So you wanna uh, watch those videos. I'll link it below so you can watch those and give yourself an idea of how those things work in combination, all right? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.